Uh, hey everybody again. Um, I was shocked when I saw that I had so many um, view, uh, views on that YouTube video. So uh, people were really excited about it. So one of the other things that um, we get nervous about running out of is uh, the reusable, I don't know where I'm supposed to look. I don't even, I'm going to look there, there, but that's weird because I, anyway, um, the reusable gowns for um, a you know, we have to suit up in the, uh, in the full thing, right? So anyway, so I get worried about that. So I thought, you know what, uh, if I can make face masks, then why couldn't I just make like a, you know, a gown? So I want to go ahead and I'm going to turn the camera around. Um, or actually, so my son's back. Um, we're trying to stay away from each other six feet. And then also, I've, I've also kind of um, put some protective equipment on him to protect him because I am actively working. So uh, so I'm going to stop this because he said he promised me he could edit it. So here goes nothing. All right. Uh, this is Sam. Sam is uh, sporting um, the latest in protective gear. So he's got on his mask. This is not one of the masks that I made for him, but um, but it could have been. Uh, he's got his a welding um, a face shield um, and a hair you know a hair covering piece there. Uh, and um, he's wearing one of the uh, reusable um, gowns uh, that, sorry, I keep moving the phone because I'm bad at this. And then also he's gloved up. So it, it, when Sam and I go to the, if we decide to go to the grocery store, actually I've been leaving him home, but if I were to like send him out, you know, to like go to the mailbox or, um, you know, like maybe even for a walk around the block, then this is something that Sam could wear. <laughs> So anyway, I just, we, we're really excited about showing you how to make this. No! Uh, so I'd like to give you a little close up. So we've cut, uh, we've got the a neck opening, right? Uh, and then go ahead, can you hold your arms out there? And we're using double-sided tape. Go ahead and spin around. And we've fashioned a belt. And uh, some of uh, the gowns I know, oh my gosh, seriously. <laughs> some of the gowns I know, they're shorter in the back, you know? But I feel like this gives this gown far more stability. And, um, and then it's got a double apron tie uh, because uh, we wanted to definitely make it just really, um, you know, strong. So um, also uh, we got this, well, I'll tell you more about it when I start to make it. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? You can't film in that angle, I thought you. Go well. Are you filming? No. Oh my gosh, I should not, you know what? It's, I'm filming, dang it. Was, go back up six feet. It was better when I did it. Sheesh. Okay, so if you're filming, and that's you're really filming. Um, so, to make my simple reusable gown, um, all you need, and they, it comes in assorted colors, you just need a, a party tablecloth, but also I think that a, a, um, a shower curtain would work because it's waterproof. And so you just need to pick one of these up. They cost a dollar, and the Dollar Tree uh, apparently is, con is con considered, hello, uh, considered an essential um, store because they sell food and, and um, other like cleaning supplies and things like that. So um, let's go ahead. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead. We'll do the pink I think this time. All right. So I'm gonna take out the pink tablecloth. Make that my garbage. We're doing construction. Man, I'm having trouble speaking. I'm so sorry. We'll take out the. Oh, you're also gonna need a pair of scissors and you're also gonna you're gonna need scissors and double sided tape. Why are you angling it down like that? Gosh darn it. Oh, I put my way. <laughs> There's no way. So you're going to take the tablecloth, open it all the way up, and then you're going to fold it in half. It does get a little staticky, which the other, you know, actual reusable gowns don't. But uh, also, I am also still gonna go work out, so that's why I look so good. Okay, so you're gonna fold it this way, lengthwise, I don't know. Make sure it's even. Then uh, my kid is gonna back up, because I'm gonna put it on the table. And then I'm gonna fold it over one more time okay meet the corners there a 
lay it down, find the center right here, that center top fold, okay? Now, of course, this doesn't have to be exact, but you know, it does help. Uh, my prototype that I made last night was, um, the neck hole was too big. So I kind of feel like, you know, you can kind of make the neck hole um, smaller and then kind of cut as needed, all right? So I'm going to, here's my center. I'm gonna take a, maybe about four inches in and I'm gonna go at an angle because I don't want it to fall off of the shoulders. And so that gives us like a boat neck, which is also very fashionable. So it's a like a boat neck size, okay? Um, I really enjoy wearing boat necks. You know, I think that they're flattering. So, okay. Um, okay, so you're gonna need to pause it and switch over. This is your science project for school, so you need to shut it. All right, so. So on, on the one that I made for Sam, uh, the sleeves were a little tight, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make them a little bit wider, okay? Now the one problem that, that we have with this is that there's no finger thumb holes, you know? You record. Do it again. Are you recording right now? Yes, do it again. For real? Yes. Seriously? Yes, I'll... Oh my gosh. This is your AV class homework assignment, Dingus Khan. Okay, so. The one mistake that I made on the th uh, with the one that Sam was wearing was the, the arms were too narrow. So I'm gonna go a little wider. And, um, you know, I mean, clearly you could do like a butterfly sleeve if you wanted to, uh, or just like a straight sleeve, like a scrub top kind of sleeve. Um, I was kind of trying to go for an angle, um, but, uh, and I actually think that's what we're gonna do is to go for an angle. I'm just gonna go a little wider. Then the nice thing is if you grab both sides of the fabric, then with this uh, material, or the material, you just slide. Now, I want you to see there's a natural crease in the fabric right there, okay? And, um, and uh, that right there, I think I measured out, but let's go ahead and, and hold on, let me get my measuring thing. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> Uh, so this is about 20, yeah, so about 26 inches, and I figured out, I figured for kind of like a normal standard chest, about 22, 24 is needed. Okay, so, in fact, I may have cut too much, but that's all right. We'll be all right. Now, at this point, uh, it might be the best time to put, to do the, the double-sided tape. So I found, I just, I had scotch tape, and, um, and so this, I think, will work. Sam, back up over there. You're too close. We need six feet social distancing. Thank you. Some people. Okay, so you're going to take the double-sided tape. You're going to need... Now, you've got two options. Might be easier to do small pieces. You'll just open up that top flap there and lay the pieces down right along the edge. Um, now, you do have to be careful when you're putting this on because the, the double-sided tape might pull then, but what I found was actually once you were in it, the double-sided tape seemed to work, like kind of kept everything together. But this, it does seem to be like the optimal way of applying it is to, um, to get it separated here and then apply the tape there. Did you just burp? That was my arm. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, professional. I don't need you burping. Okay, we're going to apply some more. You know, as I said in that first video, I don't know anything about editing. I mean, I'm not an idiot. I could freaking figure it out. But, uh, I mean, I could defibrillate you probably at this point, but I, you know, um, you know, anyway, I am ACLS certified, uh, but I don't know how to video edit. <laughs> And this will be, oh man, <laughs> this piece of double-sided tape is going to go. Okay, so that part's super crucial. So now it's done. <laughs> okay, now, at first, I wanted to make it so that it has that short back, um, you know, like the regular ones, and then you just reach and you pull. Um, and you can I do... screwed up. Uh, go. All right, so a couple of different options here. 
is you could make that short back, but if you do it, you're gonna cut down the length of this, maybe about, oh, I'd say about eight inches. And then I'm just, just to get rid of this little piece of the material, I'm just gonna get rid of that, okay? And then you could continue cutting on one side, but actually, <laughs> What I found, well, actually, no, I have an idea. So, um, just have to think about it for a, a second. No, okay, all right, so, so what we're gonna do, though, is I'm gonna make it completely one side and the other, all right? And so it's still, you'll still be able to pull it off. It does take a little effort, though. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make the sash, and we're gonna start here at the corner, put the scissors in, grab hold of both sides, of the material, and I'm gonna cut up at an angle. Right out there, it doesn't have to be exact. And then we're gonna take the next piece of the sash, and we're gonna cut up again at an angle, and we're gonna end about, you know, four to six inches, inches below. And so now you're starting to see, stand up and kinda of get it from up there, and move that pinky. He's putting this pinky in the way like he's a freaking English tea drinker. My gosh. And you're going to now That's see that. That's so racist. That's so <laughs> raven. <laughs> okay. So now you've got what looks clearly like a dress. Okay. So anyway, so I'm going to come in again here because I don't want it to flare out. And I'm just going to cut it up to there. Okay. So those are the primary steps. Now, I will say, this is probably not gonna fit me. Maybe a smaller person, but I'm gonna try it on. It's, I'm a little worried about the sleeves, I'm not gonna lie, that they're gonna rip with my big old guns, but, um, but let's see what happens. That joke is really funny. So I'm gonna go in. Find my head hole, my boat neck. Oh, I don't know that it's gonna fit me. I think I'm just ripping through it like the Hulk. <gasps> Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna find my double sash here. We'll, we'll take that out and edit. You don't have to. And then look. And here you have. A homemade reusable gown for testing coronavirus patients. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe below. Below? <laughs> <laughs> you just fart. Okay, long enough. That's not gonna happen.